What's up you guys? We are back. Okay, we are so excited right now. We just got down to Isla Morada. Looking on a map, I would say Isla Morada. Yes, we don't really know. But they say Isla Morada, I think, down here. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and stick with that. And we just got to the harbor. We're hopping on a boat right now, and we're going out to sea. Guys, and this I'm is, so excited. This is in the Florida Keys. We've never been down to the Florida Keys together, so we're super excited to experience this together. We're taking the boat out, and we're just gonna go explore the Keys. We're gonna go out to this like big old lighthouse out in the middle of the ocean, go swim around, snorkel. We're just gonna have a good time and we're so excited. I know, Jared and Britt coming through clutch again. They know a guy down here, Mark, Captain Mark will say, with a boat. So we're about to load up, head out and have our afternoon out on the water, bringing you guys with us. Let's go. We can't wait, here we go. Guys, we're just zipping through our first mangrove here. Nice little channel all the way through, just surrounded by these beautiful green mangrove trees. But he did tell us this one's called Bird Island and iguanas have got out in here and they've started to eat all the bird eggs and stuff like that. So the birds are like not really thriving on the island anymore and the iguanas are thriving. Sorry. Kind of sad, but there's still a lot of birds flying up and around here and you hear them all chirping out in these trees. This is called Alligator Lighthouse. <laughs> it is actually decommissioned. They decommissioned it apparently like six or seven years ago, but we've heard it has not even worked a lot longer than that. But they're actually keeping it, right? They're not gonna yeah, take it down. Yeah, they tried to like tear it down and stuff like that because it's like rusting and everything, but I guess that the historic something was just like, nope, you're not taking that thing down. That's oh. staying in the water, so. Which is really rare. Staying. We were just in Turks and Caicos and they left that old rusted ship uh -huh. there in the water. La Familia, yep. The one that we were climbing up, jumping off. It was insane and they've just left that there and, and it's totally rusted. That was like one of like, our favorite days. Yes. Like down in Turks and Caicos and even yes. though it's all rusted and this thing is made of cast iron, it's starting to rust and stuff, but they are gonna keep it and wow, it's a really, really cool, so like iconic amazing. thing out in the water. I kind of wish we could climb up and jump off. Me too. If we don't get to do that, we're at least gonna get in this water. It is Yeah, I can't wait to jump in. I'm dying water. to jump in. There's a lot of people in there. Apparently there's a lot of coral, a lot of fish. Yeah, good snorkeling right there. They called that alligator reef and apparently it's got really good snorkeling. So I say we jump in. Any gators? Ooh, I wish. All right, let's gear up. Okay.
was 10 out of 10. So dope, guys. We saw sharks, we saw a stingray, we saw a barracuda. I'm not sure what that last one is. I'll play the clip again right now. If you recognize this fish, let us know what that is. The it reason cool we said regardless. barracuda is because someone told us it was a barracuda, but aren't barracudas like, if you saw one, it would literally eat you? I don't know. They do or have nasty piranhas? teeth, so I hear. But well, that one did have teeth. Ooh, I saw his been. teeth. Let us know. Comment down below yeah, if you recognize what A, what species of shark this is. B, what the heck this fish was. That was fun though, guys. I was actually using a new lens port on my Aquatech housing so I could use this wide angle lens down under the water. So much fun, guys. I'm I would like say it was a lot better. I'm always itching for reasons to use that thing. I love it. No, really though. It's bulky, it's a lot of gear, but we absolutely love it. It captures things so beautifully underwater and it just looks so cool. And it floats. So if you're like, oh, I'm tired swimming, you just totally hold that up. It does up and float, it just... which is a very nice, yeah, it is very nice. nice feature. It does make it hard to dive down sometimes, but if you're an oh, experienced, yeah free diver like I'm not it might be easy for you <laughs> like I'm not I will say he's really good at holding his breath for a long time oh thank you alligator reef 10 out of 10 alligator lighthouse 10 out of 10 so cool so stinking cool now we came a little bit more towards shore and we've come to this sandbar which is just lined Straight with up party. boats <laughs> granted it's a Saturday night so obviously I don't know what time it is we're on vacation who knows what time it is but it is lined with boats music going crazy we've got like a food truck but like boat over here that's like grilling chicken and all this stuff for everybody this is a freaking party and i love it yeah it's just a We're massive just sandbar the, the water on a sandbar let's go babe wow look at those moves so cool <laughs> seriously though boats and jet skis lined up along the sandbar as far as the eye can see. We're gonna hang out for a bit, recoup, and then probably go find some food. Yeah, I could I could use a real meal right about now. <laughs> Kiss me. Sandbar has been real fun. We just pulled up anchor though. Hi, babe. Hi. And we're gonna head back to the mainland. I say that, but that's not true. It's Isla Morada down here in the Florida Keys. So insanely sick, guys. I've been wanting to be down here in the Florida Keys for so long, but we've never actually been able to make it happen. So I was so glad we were able to come down here and someday we'll have to do the whole ride. It would be rad to do on a Harley Davidson or some motorcycle or something, get all the way down to Key West yeah. and come back. Shell's a fan of that one. I'm a fan. Comment Let's down below if light. that's something you guys would like to see, because I sure would like to do it. <laughs> Just wow, that was honestly so unbelievably incredible. Captain Mark, thank you so much for taking us out. We had a blast. We went and saw the Alligator Lighthouse. I don't know why they call it Alligator Lighthouse. Let's did they say that? that? We don't really know. Yeah, they did. There's no didn't tell us why. Alligators. There's, no, there's no alligators out there. But we did see a shark, which was incredible. Yeah. That was awesome. We saw a shark out there. We saw tons of fish. We swam Holy like. Holy crap, I've never seen so many fish in my life. Oh no. Especially all like huddled together. They were all just like huddled together under the lighthouse and they it was loved so cool because we would kind of swim like through the lighthouse. <laughs> it was really awesome. That was a blast. And then we cruised back a little bit and we went to the sandbar and the sandbar was unbelievable. So much fun. Everyone was having a big party, having a blast. Honestly, it was so much fun. I loved it. And then coming in was beautiful. Gorgeous. The sun Gorgeous. against the water and all that, just beautiful. It's been such a great day. If you missed yesterday's video, and I say that, I mean the video before this one where we went 
went out on the airboat and saw the gators. Oh that was gosh. actually this morning. That was this morning. So we're pretty exhausted right now. We We've had, had an early day. start and kind of non-stop action. It's mm -hmm. been one of those days where like you'll remember this day forever because it was so fun. It was unreal. It truly was such a blast. Absolutely loved it. We're so grateful. Thank you so much, Jared and Britt, for just showing us a good time. Like yes. we just told them we just want to be on the water. That's it. And then they were like, oh, we got this guy. We'll go on his boat. It'll be epic. It was, I they know. did not, it did not disappoint. It was epically awesome. Jared and Britt have been delivering a big time. We were on, in the water yesterday, mm -hmm. in the water today. Tomorrow is our last day here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, wherever. Full day, yes. We don't fly home till Monday, but tomorrow's our last full day. Guess what? We're most likely going to be in the water. On the water. I, I like to be on and then in and then on and you then, then you know both. what I mean? It's nice to have both. Yeah, Anyways. I like options. Guys, thank you for watching. We hope you've been enjoying this trip because we sure have. We've been, been enjoying so making fun. these videos for you guys. Loving every second of it. We love you all so much and we'll see you next time. See you guys.